What happens when you microwave a phone? Hello everyone. So I was using the microwave to reheat some leftovers while also talking on the phone. Then an insane thought came to me. What would happen if I microwave my phone for a few minutes? Will it blow up? Will I set fire to my house? Will there be no action? All these things were going through my head, so I decided to find out. I'm sure you're really curious. You also want to know what happens to your phone when it is put in the microwave. Let's get started right away. Let me tell you what I discovered. When you put your cell phone in the microwave, the metal inside it absorbs microwave photons. This creates an electric current in the metal, which makes a lot of heat. Because plastic melts and hazardous substances vaporize when heated, the heat causes damage and creates a dangerous situation. I was happy to see fireworks, so that was a little let down. The phone did stop working, but that wasn't what I thought would happen. So folks, it's a friendly piece of advice. Do not microwave your cell phone at any cost. When you put your cell phone in the microwave, bad things happen. Please avoid doing it. I was wondering whether you've ever seen a video of a cell phone being microwaved. It quickly became quite intense. Hold off on giving it a go if you haven't watched it first. Suppose you're not already familiar with what a microwave does to a phone. In that case, you should probably spend a few minutes learning the basics here. Let's make things as simple as possible. Is there any effect on the phone if you put it in the microwave? Hell yeah! Microwaving your cell phone will harm it. It's shockingly difficult to tell how the device will be destroyed or how severe the damage will be. Even one second in the microwave can ruin your phone. Surprisingly, it might be able to handle the short exposure. However, the longer you leave your phone in the microwave, the worse things get. After a few seconds, likely your phone is completely ruined. Please do not hurry out to see how tough your phone is. It is unsafe to microwave your phone. For starters, it poses a significant fire hazard. Even if nothing explodes into deadly flames, your phone has toxic components. Vaporizing them is definitely not a good idea. Chlorine, bromine, and cadmium are three of the most harmful substances in your phone. When heated enough, they can evaporate. They can also get into the bottom of your microwave and coat it. Eating any of these chemicals is a terrible idea. So if you accidentally cook a phone in your microwave, scrub it properly afterwards. And if you were careful enough, maybe consider replacing the microwave oven. Now that we've proved that microwaving a phone is terrible, let's move on to the more crucial question. Why? While some things barely warm up when you put them in the microwave, yet some other things cause a spark or a fire. What exactly is going on in there? To answer that, we need to know how does a microwave work? To begin, let us define a microwave oven. This is an electric device that puts out a lot of electromagnetic radiation. It seems frightening already, but it doesn't have to be. Trust me on that. Light is scientifically known as electromagnetic radiation. More specifically, only a tiny amount of electromagnetic radiation exists in visible light. Everything outside the visible spectrum is still electromagnetic radiation, but you can't see it. The microwave oven makes something called microwave radiation, which is how it got its name. Microwaves function physically like light, yet its rays are invisible to the naked eye. Just to make things clear, microwaves have less energy than visible light particles. Most of the things you can see aren't the right size or shape to absorb a lot of microwave energy. They are, however, some notable exceptions. All of this comes down to the fact that metals and water can absorb a lot of microwaves. First, let's talk about water. Water really resonates with microwaves. That means that the water molecules take in the radiation, which makes the water molecules vibrate. That vibration is then converted into heat energy. So when you microwave food, you're attempting to heat up the water in the food using microwaves. This resonance theory explains why most foods heat up quickly compared to baking. The microwave energy passed through the parts of the meal that do not interact with them and rapidly heats the present water. Do you have any idea as to how much induction and resonance affect your phone? Let me explain that to you. Metals are another class of materials that can absorb a lot of microwave radiation. This is not true for all metals, but it is true for most of them. Most metals are excellent electrical conductors, which can result in electromagnetic induction. When a metal takes in microwave photons, an electric current is created in the metal. This explains that our mums are pretty right when instructing us not to put a spoon or fork inside. It sparks, and the induced current soon generates a large amount of heat. 
Your phone contains numerous little metal circuits and components. Microwaves are absorbed and currents are generated. Because the phone isn't intended for high currents, it quickly overheats. The bad part is that the circuitry is damaged by the heat. Plastic melts and the phone's toxic chemicals can vaporize. The phone heats up considerably more rapidly than food, resulting in damage and a potentially dangerous situation. What happens to your phone when the microwave is turned off? As horrible as cooking a phone in a microwave oven is, there is a little-known tip you may use to protect your phone. You can use the shielding in the microwave to do two things that might come in handy. Because the human body is mainly composed of water, it would be really harmful if your microwave oven leaked tons of those waves that heat up water. So microwave have a lot of insulation, which is why you don't feel any warmer when you press your nose against the glass window to watch your popcorn while it pops. The shielding used by your microwave oven is known as a Faraday cage, and it can do more than just protect you from microwaves. It may also shield your phone from almost every type of radiation or electricity. The Faraday cage prevents almost all electromagnetic energy from passing through it. It also stops currents from flowing through its shield. That means you can block all signals on your phone by placing it in a microwave. But fellas, don't turn it on. Your phone is mainly powered by microwave transmissions. Don't worry, they're not powerful enough to burn you. You can also use the microwave oven to protect a phone during an electrical storm. This is especially helpful when you're in a camper, on a boat, or somewhere else that isn't as safe from fire as a house. In short, you can put your phone in the microwave if you need to block all signals to and from your phone or if you're worried about power surges. Perhaps you should also disconnect the microwave so you don't forget about the phone and mistakenly cook it. That concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow my YouTube channel for more awesome content. Let your friends know about it too, so they may know about the cons of microwaving a phone. Please let me know down in the comment section if you have any further questions or topics I can cover.